Remember those intricate series of nerve networks we mentioned earlier, the ones that form the somatosensory pathways? You might be wondering why they're referred to as a series of networks. Well, it's because they're three distinct groups of neurons working in concert. First are those neurons receiving sensory impulses from receptors and transmitting them to a region in the spinal cord. These neurons are referred to as the first order neurons. Second are those that transmit the sensory impulses from the spinal cord to various subcortical areas below the cerebral cortex, such as the thalamus. They form the ascending tracts of the spinal cord and are referred to as the second order neurons. Finally, we have the third and final group of neurons are those that are located in the subcortical areas and they convey sensory impulses from the subcortical regions to the primary sensory cortex. This group of neurons is referred to as third order neurons. These groups of neurons combine to form tracts and this brings us to our core topic today. The ascending tracts of the spinal cord, also known as the somatosensory pathways.